Me and my friends were dumb teenagers who liked to do anything for entertainment. We were playing a classic game of truth or dare. Most of the dares were mediocre. Things like ding dong ditching and prank calls. One of my friends asked me, truth or dare? I picked dare because the game was becoming a little boring. My friends smirked at each other, then dared me to go into the abandoned mall. The abandoned mall was pretty famous in our town. Everyone said it was haunted. It was rumored that if you went into the mall, you would never come out. No one knew who owned it or why it was abandoned, but the city just pretended like it didn't exist. That didn't stop dumb kids like us from breaking in and having fun. We drove up to the abandoned mall and I got out the car. I looked into the car window while I walked out, and I saw all of them laughing at me. I told myself I only had to make it 20 minutes. How bad can it be? I walked into the mall with confidence, but it quickly faded into the dark halls. Everything about that place just gave me the chills. There were lots of disfigured but realistic mannequins, broken store windows, and the mall was almost completely pitch black, except for the moon peering in from the ceiling windows. I stood in front of a store window with old TVs. It felt weird seeing my own reflection in the television screens. I froze when I heard a creepy song start to play. I quickly realized it was coming from the mall speakers. The place had been abandoned for as long as I could remember. So someone had to be manually playing the music. As I stared at the speaker on the ceiling, I realized I never heard that song before. I knew one thing for sure though. There was something else in the mall with me. One look at my phone told me I had 10 minutes left. I wanted to have a good story to tell my friends later, so I went to the mall's office to see who's playing the music. The closer I got, the louder the music became. I peered into the small glass window on the door. I saw a man sitting there with his back turned to me. I almost knocked on the door before I caught a whiff of how bad he smelled. I stared at him to see what he was doing, but suddenly he turned around. Even in the darkness, I knew he was staring straight at me. He almost didn't look human. While I was frozen in fear, he stood up. He was over six feet tall, towering over me. I hit the wall while backing up. I held in my screaming as I ran away. My adrenaline kicked in and I was almost at the front door in less than a minute. I tried to open the doors, but they had been locked. At this point, I was pretty much panicking. No thoughts ran in my head other than get out. I sprinted into a nearby store and hid underneath the counter. The music stopped playing, and I almost felt relieved. But now that it was silent, I could hear footsteps getting closer to me. I sat there with my hands over my mouth, trying to muffle my breathing. I could hear him dragging something as he walked closer. I heard silence, and I peeked my head out from behind the counter. There was no one there. I was about to stand up, before I heard a voice whisper from behind me. 